I'm at Fur Park this morning to speak to manager Stuart Kettlewell and Bevis McGabby ahead of Motherwell's opening home league fixture of the season as they take on Hibs here on Sunday. Hibs coming into this one off the back of a fantastic 3-1 European win as they defeated Luzerne in the UEFA Europa Conference League last night. But Motherwell manager Stuart Kettlewell insists that the UEFA Europa Conference League exertions of Hibernian will not be an advantage to his Motherwell side. But I think always my mentality has been as a player, I would certainly want to be playing, playing at the highest level, coming off the back of a really good result, which Hibs did last night. And in the end, probably for Hearts um, at half time, maybe it looked as if it would have been a worse situation and managing to get that goal back gives them a real chance in that tie going back to Tynecastle. So I would always opt for that. Um, but that said, we are dealt the other situation. We're not in Europe and we have that week to spend to, to prepare for the game. So we have to make use of it as, as best we possibly can. Dylan Venti was the scorer of Hibs' second goal last night. It was believed that he joined the club for a fee of around £700,000 this summer and Motherwell manager Stuart Kettlewell knows that's a figure he certainly can't compete with and couldn't believe that a journalist accused him of being the manager trying to sign him. It's not daunting. I tell you the daunting bit about it was when I got a message from somebody in the media asking that if it was us that was signing him. I think there was a rumour <laughs> floating about that, that somebody in Scottish football was signing him. I nearly fell off my seat when I heard the, the, the money. But yeah, you're right. Hibs, uh, a club the size of Hibs and uh, the, the financial power, if you like, that, 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 that those clubs do have is, is substantial. It's significantly greater than our sales. Um, I should imagine they'll be they'll be favourites on that basis uh, in a lot of games they're going to this season, not just uh, p potentially at the weekend. Um, but as we all know, football's not you know it's not played on a spreadsheet and it's not played by numbers.